Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob 447 back at again with some NCAA basketball 10. And right now it is the conference tournament, the MAC tournament. But I decided we've done tournaments so many times, and these teams are very inferior compared to us. So I said, let me just simcast. And Marist, they're putting up a fight. I actually visited Marist uh, about two years ago. I believe about to be three years ago. But it was a nice school. It was a little too small for me. But you guys see, we do pick up the W. Joshua Average led the scoring with 25 points. That boy was balling. And you see Shaka Wimberly and Damian Dunn did, definitely did not disappoint. That's a lot of Ds. All right. Throw some Ds on them. Okay, and you guys see that we're going up against Manhattan, a school that I did not visit, but one of my friends does go to Manhattan, and Manhattan in real life actually beat Hofstra, uh, Hofstra should have won that game, they just didn't bring their A game that time, but Hofstra, the, you know, they're hanging around with Manhattan, I mean Manhattan's hanging around with Hofstra, but then, you know, Hofstra does what Hofstra does, and that's pull away, and that's exactly what the Pride did. They pulled away, got the victory, 67 to 49. Devin Kennedy started today. So did Jared Griffith. It's because uh, basically, some uh, I believe Doug Gibbons got injured, and if a player gets injured in this game, they reset your lineups. So if you have a power forward playing center, they will immediately switch it for a person who's actually a center, which I doesn't make any sense. 2K doesn't do that, and but then again, this is an older game, so I kind of. I kind of, you know, allow that to, I don't allow it, but I understand why it would happen. So you guys see in the championship, we're going up against Siena. This is the only team that has given us problems this year. They have not beaten us. We have given them two losses. We are the only team to give them those two losses. And we intend to give them another loss today. Now, it's already hard to beat a team twice. But beat them a third time, it's going to be even harder. All right. Now, Siena, they're a small school, and I believe... Albany, I'm not sure, but they are in New York, and most of these teams I actually play in this conference are from New York, so it's only right that, you know, uh, we're playing in the MAC because, you know, we are from New we are a New York team, and, you know, it kind of makes sense, but you guys see Joshua Everidge getting off to a hot start already as he made that three, and Shaka's getting a block, but we gotta, we can't foul, Devin Kennedy, he commits the foul, and, you know, I was wondering why he came out the game. I don't know. Maybe uh, Shaka Wimberly had too many fouls. Who knows? But Malcolm Holmes, he's in the game. I couldn't start uh, Doug Givens because he's injured. So Malcolm Holmes will be getting the start for today. He could shoot. All right. He could shoot. So definitely not a problem having him start on this team. But so far, the score is 3-2 as Sienna made both of those free throws. So Joshua Average bringing the ball up the court. He's going to pull up from mid-range and he knocks it down, making it a 5-2 ball game with 12 minutes left. So we're up pretty we're, we're doing pretty good right now. You know, you don't have like our strongest team out there on the court. But Siena, they're definitely a team that has a lot of depth. Well, they don't have a lot of depth, but they have a lot of experience. Something that we do not have. Like, our best player is not even an upperclassman. We only have one upperclassman on this team that actually makes a difference, and that's Derek Coffey. Grant Richards, you can make an argument about him, but he's not that great. So, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And you guys see, we got a nice bucket right there, Tyson. And, oh, Imagine if Joshua Everidge finished that, but he does get fouled by Kurt Harriet, I believe that's what his name said. But either way, you guys see the averages for Josh, and Josh can't make the free throw. Josh, come on, bro. Come on. You got to make the easy ones. All right, so the score is still 7-6, but now it's 8-6 as Josh makes the second free throw. So, Sienna, they have the ball. And guarded tightly by Tyson Chambers. Tyson Chambers definitely stepped up this season. Last year, if if I didn't pick him up in that tournament, who knows like what his role would be. But I know that this guy could shoot. And Josh Average gets the air one this time around as he got fouled by Grant Flowers. So he'll be going to the line. Okay, once again. So hopefully he can convert on the N1. You guys see we're up 10-8 right now with 10 minutes left to go. And Josh Average. Shoots up his first free throw, and it is mm -mm, good, okay? So, with 9.43 left to go, the score is 11-8. to eight. We're up by three, and Shaka's getting fouled. He'll be going to the line, this time fouled by Theo Flowers. And you guys see, he's leading the team in points, rebounds, and field goal percentage. I knew he was going to be a beast. 
this year. I knew he was going to be a beast. Like, I didn't doubt it one bit. But it's just a matter if he's going to stay here. If he can stay here, then we're definitely going to build another dynasty. If he doesn't, if he chooses to go pro, then I don't know where we're going to go from there. It might become even harder for this team. But, you know, we got to try our best. And Malcolm Holmes definitely coming out here to play tonight. Okay. Making that shot right there. So we're up 15 at 8. Sienna, they don't have a... They, they can't stop us. But, you know what? They can still shoot. So, even on the defensive end, if they can't stop us, they still know how to shoot themselves back into games. But, hey, we can shoot, too, because we got Tyson Chambers, baby. You know the kid. You know the name. They know the name. If you don't know where that's from, that's from the Super Mario World song from Logic. Logic. He's a beast. Okay, he is a beast. Anybody who wants to uh, argue that fact... Needs to get out of here. But Lanier Stinson commits the foul on Damian Dunn. So Damian Dunn, you see the averages. Those are some nice averages. Those are solid numbers out of the freshman. I didn't expect much from him. I say that a lot in every video. But I didn't expect a lot from him. But he's definitely coming up to play. And also, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it until I, like edited this video that today was actually supposed to be a video of the Portland Trailblazers, uh, my GM. So, I'm sorry, but you guys will get that video tomorrow instead of today. I'm sorry I messed that up. But, you know, people can change, okay? And, jeez, man, they, they, the Siena Saints, I believe that's their nickname, are not backing down whatsoever. It is 33-3. to This game is still knotted up pretty closely, but, ooh, Grant Richards showing the finesse on that shot right there so we're up by five with 230 left to go Derek Coffey guarding his man tightly and he's gonna make that one oh gosh Sienna they're roaring back with this lead so it is 35 to 32 Grant Richards has a ball he's gonna kick it out to Derek Coffey for three as he knocks down that one all right I had to stop momentarily because I was interrupted but you guys see Tyson Chambers has the ball he knocks down the jumper putting us up by eight with a minute left to go in this half this half has been nothing short of absolute action as it has been a high scoring game in Joshua Everidge we'll go back to the line as he got fouled by Garrett Gary Mosley you guys see Josh already has nine points in this game definitely coming up to show you guys what he's made of this guy he's probably not gonna be an all-american but he has definitely led the team. He's, like, been the captain of this team. Shaka Wimbley, yes, he's there. But, you know, he's not a general, all right? But Josh Everidge, when we need a bucket, Josh can always give it to us. And he gets us a layup in transition. So with 16 seconds left in the first half, Josh goes up for the shot. Misses, and Chaka is right there as he gets the layup to go. He's got 10 points and 5 rebounds. Those are some good first half numbers. So with three seconds left, the Saints put up one more at the buzzer. And they get it to go. And it's still one second left. So Shaka Wimbley, that was a bad foul right there. We don't need you getting into foul trouble. So with one second left, we make a few subs. Derek Crawford, he's a senior shooting guard. Majoring in foreign languages. Kid smart out here. He knocks down the free throw, converting the N1, making the deficit only seven points. So at one second left, can Josh knock it? No, Josh couldn't even get a shot off. Come on, Josh. We needed you, buddy. We really needed you. But it's okay. We go into halftime lean in 46 to 39. Definitely. Definitely what we need right now. We need to we need to score. Alright? Because this team can score as well. So it's basically who can score the most points. We're shooting at a great percentage right now. We're, we're out-rebounding this team by a lot. All right, But we just don't have that, that many assists. It's probably because we went to the line a lot of times in this game. So you know, if we just keep capitalizing on our goals, we are definitely going to win this game. When it comes to beating teams at half, we usually don't lose. So, if we just keep doing what we were doing, we are going to win this game. And Tyson Chambers is getting fouled, and he'll be going to the line. You guys see, we have been going to the line a lot in this game. And with this uh, video game right here, it's kind of wishy-washy with the fouls. Because some games, you'll barely go to the line. And then some games, you'll go there like 
12 times. It, it's just crazy how this game works because you could turn down the frequency and it still happens. That's why I turned it from 30 to like 25 because I really hated going to the line. It just kills all the action. We need the action. And Damian Dunn's giving it to you as he gets the offensive put back to go down. So we're up by 12. The Saints, they need an answer and they need it fast. And they get one. As Nathan Flowers, I believe, made that one. Or it could have been Gary Mosley. I don't know. Too many braids on a court at one time. But it don't matter. Because the Saints are roaring back as they knock down a three. So, we're only up by nine with eight minutes left to go. Malcolm Holmes sits a pick for Jared Griffith. Jared Griffith loses the ball. So, the Saints are pushing in transition. That's a slow break right there. But, oh, whew, he caught me with that move. He caught me. And he's going to the rack. He is going to get fouled. But he does not get the end one. Thank God. That would have really hurt our hopes. But you guys see Leonard Stinson, he knocks down his first free throw, making it a 8-point game with 8 minutes left to go. So definitely there's enough time for Sienna to come back. There's enough time for any team. So we still got to keep our head, all right? Because this team, they're not going to back down from us. They saw us move into this conference and they were like, Hofstra, oh yeah, we could take them. And every game we played against them has been tough. It's been rough. It's been crazy. Every time we play them and they get another bucket, making it a five-point game with seven minutes left to go. So Josh back in the game along with Shaka. And Josh is going to knock down the shot when I told you. When we need shots... Josh is always there, but the Saints come marching in for that bucket. So, it is now 68-66 to 66 as we fast forward into the action with four minutes left to go. And Josh Evers pulls up, knocks it down. We went, on a very, we went on a slump, okay? And that slump was very bad, and we allowed them to come back into this game. But Tyson Chambers getting timely blocks, but you got to get the boards. You got to get the loose balls. So that shot puts Sienna up by two with 3.33 left to go. So Josh going to pull up again for mid-range. Hit that elbow jumper. Let's get it, man. So Sienna's only up by two with three minutes left to go. Josh going to pass it to his man, Tyson. Tyson Chambers knocks down the jumper, tying this ball game up. But Sienna, there we're going right back and forth with this team. It has become a shootout. Here in the MAC tournament. So it is 74 72. I see you, Grant, but we're going to pass it to Tyson, who misses it. He misses it. So we're still down. But Derek Coffey playing defense gets a steal. He gets the layup to go and transition. That is what we need, baby. But we can't give up easy dunks like that. Because if we give up easy dunks, then this team might come out here with the victory. And we don't need that. All right. So Derek Coffey says, why not let it fly? As he knocks down a three. So with two minutes left to go, we're up by one. Sienna, they're going to pass it into the corner. And they knock down the jumper. But it was a it was a two, so they're only up by one. All right, and we turn over the ball. Oh, we almost turn over the ball, and Grant Richards knocks down a clutch jump shot. So we're up by one with 141 left in this ball game, and oh my gosh, we got to get the rebounds. We cannot let this team get offensive boards. Second chance points will kill us, kill us. All right, so we're down by one, but Josh. I told you when we need somebody to count on, we always got Josh. And Josh pulls up one more time from the stripe, and he knocks it down, putting us up by three. So with 35 seconds left, Josh can put this game away. So he's going to give it to Tyson, and Tyson knocks down the jumper, putting us up by five with 29 seconds left to go. And see, and it calls a timeout. But guess what the game did, guys? The game wanted to freeze on your boy. So I simcasted this game to get, like, try to replicate what the score is now exactly with the time so i'm this is me just really mad that this game froze at this point so unfortunately we will have to play the final two minutes of this game again all right it's i, I know it's excruciating it's excruciating you guys are like really j rob really no i did not do this on purpose how could i do it on purpose so you guys see the score we're up by four at 40 
uh, four seconds left. I mean, that's pretty close. Like, to be honest, that's pretty close. And Joshua ever says, you know, it's, it was nice to, nice to know you, but I'm going to do it again. And he's hitting daggers all over the court. It's a knife, baby. If you know where that's from, you know, because he's a savage. But he don't wear 21, though. If he wore 21, that would have been clever. And that's Shaka getting a rebound. They're going to have to start fouling. And we're up by six with 14 seconds left. Sienna will get one more shot at this. They will get one more shot. This one is starting to look like it's over in the MAC tournament. It was nice to play against them. So Malcolm Holmes playing that good defense. We get the rebound. And with 6.9 seconds left, Shaka, put this one on ice, baby. Put it on ice, all right? So the first free throw... Nothing but the bottom of the net as he knocks that one down, making it a seven-point game. So, for the second free throw, Shaka knocks it down, making it an eight-point game with seven seconds left. This one is about over here in the MAC tournament, and they throw up a prayer. It's no good. We win the MAC tournament, baby. We're going dancing for the sixth time. Sixth time. In this dynasty, baby. The sixth time we're going dancing. The sixth time we've won a conference championship. Who going to stop the pride? Who? Who? This, this season we came in with uncertainty. But we finished the regular season off strong with a conference win. You see the numbers. 16 and 18 for your boy Shaka. And you know those numbers are too little for Josh. You know how many points he really had that first game. But anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. the money with my gang too and we be swerving in that Audi coupe